Hello, everyone. I'm Zhou Longyi from Johns Hopkins University. Um, today, I'm glad to share our work, Zeta, a scalable and robust east-west communication framework uh, in large-scale clouds. It's a joint work with colleagues uh, from University of Science and Technology of China, FutureWay, and the University at Buffalo. The leading author is Chen Zhang from University of Science and Technology of China, but he cannot be here today. Uh, so I will present the work and do the Q&As. Um, cloud network virtualization is a crucial part of cloud computing brings great benefits like flexibility and cloud scalability. In the meantime, the virtualization must support high performance and reliability to meet the QoS. In this work, we mainly consider the east-west communication meaning the communication between the instances within a data center. The intra-data center traffic contributes to a large portion of data center traffic. There are two trends making cloud network virtualization more challenging. The first trend is that nowadays the cloud scale is getting larger. Some data center can hold more than 100,000 servers and millions of VM instances. And the second trend is that uh, as the cloud computing is getting widely used, it's getting more dynamic. Instances are launched and stopped f frequently. It brings three requirements to cloud network virtualization. The first one is scalability. As the number of instances grows, we will need a large number of forwarding rules, which will introduce great overhead. The second challenge is uh, robustness. Device failures and, uh, and burst traffic can lead to network uh, congestion or even interruption. Last but not least, uh, we also need to guarantee the low latency for, its, uh, for establishing communications. Let's take a look at uh, uh, existing communication models. First is the pre-programmed uh, pre model. As shown in the right figure, the pre-programmed model pre-installs all the potential rules when launching the VMs. The traffic between the VMs can then be forwarded directly with low latency. However, this model may suffer from long VM deployment delay and poor scalability, and it, as it takes a long time to install a large number of rules between, uh, before launching the VMs. Another communication model is called on-demand model. With on-demand model, the first packet of a flow is sent to the controller, which will program the forwarding rules. It can scale better than the previous pre-programmed model. However, the first packet will suffer from extremely high latency in this case. And the whole system, and the whole system highly depends on the controller and is sensitive to control plane outage. The last, the last one is a gateway model. The gateway model only, only pre-installs default rules pointing to the gateway on the virtual switches. When a new flow comes, the virtual switch sends its packets to the, uh, to the gateway by default. There is a flow detection module to, de uh, to detect the elephant flows. Once a flow is identified as an elephant flow, it will be offloaded from the gateway to the direct path between the hosts. The gateway model improves the network scalability through on-demand rules offloading and does not introduce high latency for the first packets. However, it's a, it may suffer from the robustness issues. For example, when the gateway fails, there will be high latency for migrating traffic to the backup gateway. Also, when a host subnet encounters burst traffic, the gateway node might be offloaded, uh, overloaded. To briefly conclude, now these three exi existing models can satisfy all the three requirements well. Uh, we wonder, can we make a nice design to satisfy all these requirements? To this end, we propose Zeta, a scalable and robust east-west communication framework. It has three layers, a management layer, a gateway cluster layer, and an on-host forwarding layer. The most important design is that we organize all the gateway nodes as a set of clusters. 
each cluster will contain several homomorphic gateway nodes. More specifically, Zeta uses gateway cluster and group table on virtual switches for better load balancing. On each gateway node, we use XDP-based forwarding, and we implement flow detection and rule forwarding for better performance. Among the gateways in, in one same uh, cluster, we use multiple IP scan to achieve faster uh, recovery. And we do high-level management and load adjustment on the management layer. Now let's zoom in to see how we use gateway cluster and group tables to achieve load balance for the gateway nodes. In this example, we have two VPCs. The VM1 and the VM3 belongs to the VPC1, and the cluster 1 will take care of the traffic of VPC1. When a new flow from, VP, uh, from VM1 to VM3 arrives at the virtual switch, it cannot find an uh, exact match entry here, so that will check its VPC ID. The VPC ID is 1 here, so we set the group ID as 1 according to the match action table. The flows with the same group ID will be evenly forwarded to the IP addresses specified in, in, the, group table, uh, in the group table buckets based on a hash function. Let's say the, uh, let's say IP2 is chosen as a destination IP among the two buckets. The flow will be forwarded to the gateway node with IP2 and the gateway node will then forward the traffic to VM3. Each gateway node consists of a forwarding module and a storage module. The forwarding module takes, uh, takes care of traffic forwarding, flow detection, and the traffic offloading. The storage module is implemented with a set of eBPF maps. These maps are key value stores that serve as a data channel between user space and the kernel space. The eBPF maps store forwarding rules and uh, real-time flow information. The gateway cluster is not static. The number of uh, gateways in a cluster can dynamically change be, uh, due to gateway failures or scaling requirements. As a result, we will have to modify the group table entries related to the updated gateway nodes on the virtual switches, which may, uh, which may lead to extra overhead. For example, when node 2 fails, we have to notify all the virtual switches and, um, and modify the corresponding group table entries. To address this issue, we design the multi-IP migration. Each gateway is logically assigned with multiple virtual IPs. Once a failure happens, the virtual IP can be reallocated among the other nodes. The traffic is thus bounded with the IP addresses instead of specific gateway nodes. Uh, let's go over a, a, a simple example. Here, when node 2 fails, the cluster controller first updates the mapping table to, re to reassign the virtual IP to node 1 and node 3 from node 2. Then node 1 and node 3 send IRP packets to, up, to, update the MAC, to update the MAC entries on the connected switch. In this way, we can avoid modifying the rules on the virtual switches, and the host, ma and the host machines remains unchanged. Um, Zeta's framework management layer operates on a higher level. It does intra-cluster load adjustment and also ensures inter-cluster lo uh, load balancing. For intra-cluster load, uh, load adjustment, we have a planner for multi-IPs. Um, it, it, it is used to map the IPs to different nodes for better load balancing. There is also a VPC cluster mapping module to ensure the inter-cluster load balancing. It is formulated as an ILP problem and solved by a rounding-based rounding uh, algorithm. For more details, please check our paper. Now let's move to our evaluation part. Our test bed, uh, on, our de on our test bed, we deploy uh, 45 KVM-based uh, gateways on three bare metal servers. 
And we use other 20 biometric servers as a computer node to run VM instances and virtual switches. All servers are, conducted, uh, are connected by a topo rack switch. We compare Zeta with other three uh, typical frameworks, respectively gateway model, referred as GW zone here, on-demand model, and the pre-programmed model. With the evaluation, I'd like to discuss the following questions. First, what's the benefit and the overhead of Zeta's uh, flow detection and the rule of loading? And second, can Zeta provide a load balancing for the gateway nodes? And last, uh, how well can Zeta handle uh, failures? We first measure the difference of doing elephant flow detection on gateway and on hosts. We let a different number of flows be offloaded and, and, and measure the 99% offloading latency. As the result shows, Zeta's design choice of doing flow detection on gateway nodes can achieve lower offloading latency. This is mainly because that Zeta can avoid a high control loop latency. Well, we can get fast rule of loading by doing flow detection on the gateway node. It also comes with a price. We need to evaluate the overhead of doing flow detection and the rule of loading on the gateway. Like how much CPU power does it consume and does it affect the forwarding performance? We evaluate by comparing it with pure forwarding. We vary the eBPF map size and check the per core packet rate. As we can see in this figure, if we do pure forwarding, one CPU core can forward more than uh, 1.8 million packets per second. If we do forwarding with offloading and detection, it can still achieve about 1.7 million packets per second when the eBPF map size is 2,000 uh, entries. So the overhead of detecting and uh, offloading is relatively low. We also note that the map size, uh, when the map size grows, the overhead of doing such detection and offloading on the gateway nodes will grow. We evaluate Zeta's load balancing with a burst of video traffic. The flow, the flow size ranges from uh, 2.4 Mbps to 100 Mbps. We change the number of burst flows and uh, measure the gateway's uh, CPU, uh, CPU usage. As shown in this figure, Zeta can achieve both low average load and better load balancing. Then we evaluate the recovery latency under different abnormal events, including gateway offload, uh, overload, uh, failure, and expansion. As we can see in the, uh, in the left figure, Zeta can greatly reduce the recovery latency with multiple ID IP migration scheme. The latency is more than 10 times lower than GW zone. The right figure shows the CPU usage of the gateway nodes in the same cluster for a period of time. We let node one be overloaded by assigning more IPs and flows there. While when node one's CPU usage reaches the threshold, Zeta's control plan uh, will trim in to reassign the virtual IPs. After that, the load of node one quickly decreases to a normal, uh, to a normal level. In conclusion, we propose Zeta framework to enhance the robustness and the scalability of east west communication in clouds. Zeta adopts gateway clusters XDP and the multi-IP scheme to achieve better robustness and the forwarding performance. Thank you for listening. I'm happy to take any questions.